Alexander Graham Bell, inventor who connected the modern world. Born on March 3, 1847, in Edinburgh, Scotland, Alexander Graham Bell grew up in a family deeply involved in elocution and speech therapy. His father, Alexander Melville Bell, developed visible speech, a system to teach the deaf to articulate sounds, while his mother, Eliza, was a pianist who lost her hearing early in his childhood. Bell's early education was largely informal, shaped by his father's teachings and his own curiosity. At 12, he invented a dehusking machine for a local mill, showcasing his knack for problem-solving. After studying at the University of Edinburgh and University College London, Bell moved to Canada following the deaths of his brothers from tuberculosis, settling in Brantford, Ontario. Bell moved to Boston, where he taught at schools for the deaf, including the Boston School for Deaf Mutes and the Clark School. His work with students like Mabel Hubbard, his future wife, deepened his interest in sound transmission. Funded by Mabel's father, Gardner Hubbard, Bell began experimenting with the harmonic telegraph, aiming to send multiple messages over a single wire. He and assistant Thomas Watson had developed a device that could transmit vocal sounds electrically. Bell famously uttered the first intelligible telephone message, Mr. Watson, come here I want to see you. Bell patented the telephone, just hours before rival Alicia Gray filed a similar claim. The invention's public debut at Philadelphia Centennial Exposition wowed attendees, including Emperor Pedro II of Brazil. Bell co-founded the Bell Telephone Company, which later became AT&T. By the 1880s, telephones were widespread, though Bell sold most of his shares early, missing out on later fortunes. Bell used his Volta Prize winnings to establish the Volta Laboratory, where he invented the photophone. He also developed an early metal detector to locate bullets in patients, notably used on President Garfield. Bell shifted to aviation, founding the Aerial Experiment Association and designing tetrahedral kites and early hydrofoils. His work laid groundwork for future aviation and naval technologies. Bell died on August 2, 1922, in Nova Scotia, where he had spent summers researching. His funeral was marked by a minute of silence across North American telephones. Beyond the telephone, Bell's legacy includes advancements in deaf education and contributions to National Geographic as its president. Remembered as a polymath, his notebooks reveal relentless curiosity, from genetics to renewable energy.